Hey, all of you dog lovers out there. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time, we're glad you are here. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of our furry friends. Get ready for a positively mind-blowing journey as we explore some far-out facts about your dog. This video is a little bit longer than usual because we wanted to make sure that you got all of the important information about dog health. We know that your furry companions are important to you, and we want to help you keep them healthy and happy. We appreciate your patience as we go through this important information. We know that it can be a lot to take in, but we believe that it is important for you to have this knowledge so that you can make the best decisions for your dog's health. Please feel free to rewatch the video as needed. We also encourage you to share this video with other dog owners, new dog owners, or anyone who is thinking about adopting a dog. We hope that you find this video informative and helpful. To kick things off, did you know that there are over 340 different dog breeds recognized worldwide? From the Speedy Greyhound to the Regal Afghan Hound, each breed brings its unique charm. Dog breeds and origins. But where did it all begin? Well. The dog's origin can be traced back to their wild ancestors, wolves. Domestication likely started over 15,000 years ago when early humans formed mutually beneficial partnerships with these canids. The word canids refers to a family of mammals called canidae. Canids are dog-like carnivores, and they include domestic dogs, wolves, coyotes, foxes, jackals, and dingoes. They are found on all continents except Antarctica, and they have a wide variety of physical and behavioral adaptations. First Dog on Record Who is the first dog on record? Meet the Saluki, a graceful and ancient breed that dates back to 329 BC. They were revered by the ancient Egyptians for their hunting prowess. The Saluki, often referred to as the royal dog of Egypt, was highly esteemed in ancient times and served several purposes. Like hunting, the Saluki was primarily bred for hunting, and it's one of the oldest known hunting breeds. Beyond their hunting abilities, Saluki's were cherished as loyal companions and family pets, and Saluki's were often associated with royalty and nobility in ancient times. They also served as guardians and used for racing. Now, let's talk about something most people can't resist, those adorable puppies. A puppy fun fact. Largest litter. What is the largest litter ever recorded? Are you ready for this? Currently, it's an astounding 24 puppies born to a Neapolitan Mastiff in the UK in 2004. Imagine the chaos of mealtime. I think you have to admit, there's nothing like a puppy, and if you have ever been around a puppy, you know all about that one-of-a-kind adorable puppy breath smell that they have. What is the most expensive puppy breed? Did you know that the world's most expensive dog breed is the Tibetan Mastiff? One of these majestic pups once sold for a staggering $1.9 million. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Does anyone know how many teeth adult dogs have? Put your answer in the comment section below. For those of us who do not know, adult dogs have 42 permanent teeth. They have 20 teeth on their upper jaw and 22 teeth on their lower jaw. The teeth are divided into four types, incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Incisors are the front teeth and are used for cutting food. Canines are the pointed teeth on either side of the incisors and are used for tearing food. Premolars are the teeth behind the canines and are used for grinding food. Molars are the teeth at the back of the mouth and are also used for grinding food. Now, puppies have 28 deciduous teeth, also known as milk teeth. These teeth start to fall out around the age of 4 months and are replaced by the permanent teeth. The number of teeth that a dog has can vary depending on the breed. For example, small dogs like Chihuahuas and Yorkies tend to have fewer teeth than large dogs like German Shepherds and Labrador Retrievers. What is the gestation period of a dog? Well first, we need to discuss a female dog's reproductive cycle. Female dogs go through a reproductive cycle, commonly referred to as being in heat or in estrus. This cycle consists of several stages, and yes, female dogs do have some bleeding during a portion of it. Stage 1 Proestrus, approximately 9 to 11 days. During this stage, female dogs begin to attract males but are generally not receptive to mating. 
they may exhibit behavioral changes, such as increased urination and attracting male dogs, but they do not allow mating yet. Some bleeding or discharge, often pink or bloody, may be noticeable during this stage. Stage 2 estrus, approximately 5 to 9 days. This is the stage when female dogs are fertile and receptive to mating. The bleeding or discharge may change in color and become lighter, often transitioning to a straw-colored fluid. Female dogs may actively seek out males for mating during this stage. Stage 3 diestrus, approximately 60 to 90 days. If the female dog doesn't become pregnant, she will enter diestrus. During this stage, she is no longer receptive to mating. The bleeding or discharge gradually diminishes and eventually stops. And stage 4. Anestrus. This is the period of sexual inactivity between one heat cycle and the next. It typically lasts for several months, varying by breed and individual. It's important to note that the duration of each stage can vary between individual dogs and breeds. Also, the bleeding during proestrus and estrus can be quite variable in terms of amount and color. If you have concerns or questions about your female dog's heat cycle, it's advisable to consult with a veterinarian. Additionally, if you do not plan to breed your dog, you may want to discuss options for spaying, removing the ovaries and uterus, with your veterinarian to prevent heat cycles and unwanted pregnancies in overcrowded shelters. Spaying and neutering your dogs can also have health and behavioral benefits for your dog. Our channel supports spay and neutering programs. Gestation Period the gestation period for a dog, also known as pregnancy, typically lasts around 62 to 63 days. However, it can vary slightly depending on the dog's breed and individual factors like age, health, and genetics. Let's talk about the development of puppies. Can puppies see and hear when they are first born? No, at the time of birth, they can neither see nor hear. Puppies usually begin to open their eyes at around 10 to 14 days of age. The exact timing can vary among individual puppies. Now, what about a puppy's hearing? As mentioned earlier, puppies are unable to hear when they are first born. Puppies' ear canals start to open at around two weeks of age, allowing them to hear sounds about that time. Their hearing continues to develop in the following weeks. Weaning puppies. Puppies are usually weaned from their mother's milk and introduced to solid food between around six to eight weeks of age. The exact timing can depend on the breed and the mother's preferences. Many veterinarians will agree that generally, it is healthier for the pup to continue to nurse from their mother until they are about 8 weeks of age, just to make sure they have the best possible start in life. What is the lifespan expectancy of a dog? The average lifespan of a dog varies by breed, size, and individual factors, such as genetics, health, and environment. Generally, small dog breeds tend to live longer than larger breeds. On average, dogs live between 10 to 13 years, while some smaller breeds can live into their late teens or even early 20s. Larger breeds on the other hand may have shorter lifespans. Let me tell you about the oldest living dog. The oldest living dog as of September 8, 2023, is Bobby, a purebred Refiro do Alentejo dog from Portugal. He is 31 years and 266 days old, and his age has been verified by Guinness World Records. With the average lifespan of a dog being 10 to 13 years, Bobby is an incredibly rare and special dog. His longevity is likely due to a combination of factors, including good genes, a healthy lifestyle, and loving care from his family. Bobby lives in the village of Conqueros with his owner, Lionel Costa. He is a very healthy dog for his age, and he enjoys spending time with his family and friends. The previous oldest living dog was Bluey, an Australian cattle dog who lived to be 29 years and 5 months old. Bluey was born in 1910 and died in 1939. She was a working dog and helped her owner, Les Hall, with his sheep and cattle. She lived in the early 1900s. The only known records of Bluey are her registration papers and the testimony of her owner, Les Hall. However, there is a statue of Bluey in Rochester, Victoria, Australia, where she lived. The statue is a reminder of Bluey's incredible longevity and her status as the oldest dog ever verified. With the average lifespan of a dog being 10 to 13 years, Bluey was, and Bobby is an incredibly rare and special dog. 
His longevity is likely due to a combination of factors, including good genes, a healthy lifestyle, and loving care from his family. What is the most popular breed? Now, you could ask 25 people this question, and probably get 25 different answers, especially if they happen to own a breed they are especially partial to. The popularity of dog breeds can vary by country and region. However, according to the American Kennel Club, AKC, the most popular dog breed in the United States as of 2023 is the Labrador Retriever. The Labrador has been number one steadily for many years. Followed by German Shepherds, Golden Retriever, French Bulldog, Beagle, Poodle, Rottweiler, Bulldog, Yorkshire Terrier, and Dachshund. If you are considering adding a dog to your family, please consider adopting. There are so many dogs and cats that need saving from overpopulated shelters. You can't go wrong though with a Labrador Retriever. They are known for their friendly and outgoing personalities, making them great family dogs. They are also intelligent and easy to train, making them popular working dogs as well. Now, let's dive into the superpowers of dogs. Extraordinary sense of smell. Dogs have an extraordinary sense of smell. They can detect certain medical conditions, like seizures and cancer, just by sniffing a person's scent. It's like having a built-in medical alert system. I can speak to knowing something about this. Our channel creator Debbie and Yvonne of the Facts Intrigue channel found out firsthand the natural ability their dog Abby had in detecting cancer. You see, Abby was one of the puppies they rescued from what would have been certain death. The owner at the time was ready to take the entire litter to the shelter to be put down, but many in the neighborhood got wind of the situation and couldn't let that happen. Upon their visit to the home where these puppies were, there were many of them to choose from. The mother of Abby had given birth to a very large litter. As they attempted to choose a puppy to save, there was one the owner had not even noticed was missing. She had been hiding under a bush nearby. Out of nowhere, the puppy, now named Abby, ran out from under the bush and headed straight for Yvonne. As if to say, don't leave me. Please take me. Although there were several people standing nearby, Abby had singled them out. Abby at the time was about six weeks old. Because Abby had chosen them in such a dramatic fashion, Debbie and Yvonne took Abby home. Now, before I finish the story of Abby, I want to let you know that all of the puppies in the litter were rescued that day. Okay, back to the story. So, several years later, Abby started acting very unusual around Debbie. She was constantly sniffing her chest area. Abby was very persistent, needing to be around Debbie refusing to leave her alone. Debbie has always had a way with animals. She soon realized that Abby was trying to tell her something. It wasn't long before Debbie recognized what Abby was trying to tell her. Abby's behavior indicated that something was wrong with Debbie. Debbie soon scheduled a mammogram. Results from the mammogram showed what Debbie suspected based on Abby's behavior. It turned out that Abby had detected Debbie's breast cancer, a stage 3 cancer that Debbie herself didn't even know she had. A remarkable story about a rescue dog named Abby, but in reality, ended up being the one who rescued Debbie, saving her life. Debbie will be the first to tell you that she could never repay or show enough gratitude to Abby for detecting her cancer the doctors thought would take her life. I am happy to report that, at the time of the making of this video, Debbie's cancer which resulted in a double mastectomy is still in remission. Eight years later. Oh, and you know how I said earlier that Abby was hiding in a bush and came out of nowhere? Why is that important? Well think about this. Regardless of your beliefs, have you ever noticed that the word dog spelled backwards spells God? Debbie is a firm believer that God works in mysterious ways, and she can't help but think that she was given a miracle. The male woman that first told Debbie about a litter of puppies that turns into them rescuing a little six-week-old puppy named Abby, who then comes out of nowhere from under a bush, Debbie is certain, is one of those mysterious ways. It was all meant to be. Debbie and Yvonne were destined to save a puppy, that day. Little did anyone know just what a role Abby would play in their lives years later. Needless to say, Abby is a special dog, and Debbie believes that she was meant to be with their family. She is proof that God does work in mysterious ways, and Debbie is grateful for her furry angel. There are many other stories like hers. Dogs have been known to detect cancer in people of all ages, from children to the elderly. They can detect cancer in different parts of the body, 
including the lungs, breasts, liver, and skin. Abby had a natural ability to detect cancer. Luckily, some dogs can be taught how to do the same. If you have a dog, Debbie will tell you to pay attention and be aware of the signs that your dog may be trying to tell you something. If your dog is suddenly acting unusual, like Abby was, it's worth getting checked out by a doctor. Don't ignore the behavior. Your dog could be saving your life. Here's more interesting fact you might have not known. Have you ever wondered what your dog's wagging tail means? Well, different tail wags convey different messages. It's their way of communicating excitement, caution, or submission. All with just the wag of their tail. But there's a bit more to it than that. Here are some of the most common meanings. Happiness. A dog that is wagging its tail quickly and excitedly is usually happy. This is the most common meaning of tail wagging. Excitement. A dog that is wagging its tail and jumping around is usually excited. This could be because they are seeing their owner, playing with another dog, or going for a walk, or that they want to play. Friendliness. A dog that is wagging its tail and approaching you in a friendly way is trying to be friendly. This is often accompanied by other body language cues, such as a relaxed posture and a wagging tongue. Submission. A dog that is wagging its tail and tucking its tail between its legs is usually submitting to another dog or person. This is a sign of respect or fear. Aggression. A dog that is wagging its tail and showing other signs of aggression, such as bared teeth or growling, is feeling threatened or aggressive. This is a warning sign that the dog should not be approached. It is important to pay attention to the other body language cues that your dog is giving off, such as the position of its ears, the tension in its body, and its facial expression. These cues can help you to interpret the meaning of the tail wag more accurately. Here are some additional things to keep in mind when interpreting your dog's tail wag. The speed of the wag can also be a clue. A fast wag usually means happiness or excitement, while a slow wag can mean submission or nervousness. The height of the wag can also be a clue too. A high wag usually means happiness or excitement, while a low wag can mean submission or fear. And the direction of the wag can also be a clue as well. A dog that is wagging its tail to the right is usually feeling positive emotions, while a dog that is wagging its tail to the left is usually feeling negative emotions. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule. The best way to learn to interpret your dog's tail wag is to spend time with them and get to know their individual body language. Super Hearing A dog's sense of hearing is equally impressive. They can hear sounds at frequencies as high as 65,000 Hz, while humans can only hear up to around 20,000 Hz. That's why they might react to sounds we can't even perceive. Common Ailments Now, let's talk about their health. Dogs can suffer from various common ailments, like hip dysplasia, arthritis, and allergies. Some pure breeds can have additional health issues as a result of breeding certain genetics, so it is essential to keep an eye out for these to ensure your furry companion lives a happy, healthy life. If you are considering adding a purebred dog to your family, it is important to do your research and choose a responsible breeder. Responsible breeders will screen their breeding dogs for genetic health conditions and only breed dogs with a clean genetic history. They will also be able to provide you with information about the health history of the puppy's parents and grandparents. It is also important to ask the breeder if the puppy is predisposed to any genetic conditions. Just because a puppy is predisposed to a genetic condition does not mean that it will develop the condition. However, it is important to be aware of any potential health risks so that you can provide the best possible care for your puppy. With proper care and attention, a puppy with a genetic predisposition to a condition can still live a long and healthy life. However, it is important to be aware of the risks and to work with your veterinarian to monitor your puppy's health. Here are some specific questions you can ask a breeder. Do you health test your breeding dogs? What genetic conditions have been screened for? What are the results of the health screenings? Are the puppy's parents and grandparents healthy? Is the puppy predisposed to any genetic conditions? By asking these questions, you can help to ensure that you are getting a healthy puppy from a responsible breeder. Let's talk a minute about vaccinations for dogs. Vaccinations are an important part of keeping your dog healthy. They help protect your dog from serious diseases that can be fatal. There are a few different types of vaccinations that dogs need. The most important ones are 
Rabies is a deadly virus that can be transmitted to humans. All dogs in the United States are required to be vaccinated against rabies. This is one vaccination your dog must have for everyone's protection. Rabies is a horrific deadly virus that can also be transmitted to humans and other warm-blooded animals, including bats, raccoons, skunks, foxes, and coyotes. Rabies is a virus that affects the nervous system. It is transmitted through the saliva of an infected animal, usually through a bite or if you have an open wound that has come into contact with the saliva. The virus travels to the brain and can cause a variety of symptoms, including fever, headache, difficulty swallowing, and aggression. If rabies is not treated, it is always fatal. The good news is that there is a vaccine for rabies that is very effective. If you are bitten by an animal that you think may be infected with rabies, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. The sooner you receive the vaccine, the better your chances of survival. Here are some tips to help prevent rabies. Avoid contact with wild animals, especially bats, raccoons, skunks, foxes, and coyotes. If you see an animal you believe to be affected by rabies, stay away from it. Be sure to contact animal control or the police in your area and advise them where the animal can be located. If you are bitten by an animal, even if you don't think it's infected, seek medical attention immediately. If your pet is bitten by an animal that acts strange or sick, even if your pet has been vaccinated for rabies, please contact your veterinarian, who may want to examine your pet. Keep your pets vaccinated against rabies. Teach your children about rabies and how to avoid being bitten by animals. Here are other very important vaccinations you should consider for your dog. DHPP. DHPP stands for distemper, hepatitis, parvovirus, and parinfluenza. These are all highly contagious diseases that can cause serious illness or death in dogs. Leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is a bacterial disease that can be transmitted to dogs through contact with urine from infected animals. It can cause kidney failure and death. Some veterinarians may use what they call a 5-in-1 vaccine for the DHPP and leptospirosis. So, you may hear them refer to a DHLPP vaccine which covers distemper, hepatitis, parvovirus, and parinfluenza and includes leptospirosis. There's also a Bordetella vaccine. Bordetella is a bacterium that can cause kennel cough or respiratory infection that can be very contagious. Another recommended vaccine is for canine influenza. Canine influenza is a respiratory infection that is similar to the flu in humans. It can be very contagious and can cause serious illness in dogs. Your dog's veterinarian can recommend the best vaccination schedule for your dog based on their age, lifestyle, and risk factors. In addition to keeping you advised of any new vaccinations that may be recommended. Like humans, sometimes new viruses do become a concern to the point where it is necessary for a vaccine to be developed to help protect our canine companions. It is important to keep your dog's vaccinations up to date to protect them from these serious diseases. Here are some additional things to keep in mind about vaccinations for dogs. Some vaccines are given as a series of shots, while others are given only once. You should bring your dog to the veterinarian for their annual checkup and vaccination boosters. If your dog is ever exposed to a contagious disease, such as rabies, it is important to take them to the veterinarian immediately. Vaccinating your dog is one of the best things you can do to keep them healthy and happy. By following the recommendations of your veterinarian, you can help protect your dog from serious diseases and enjoy many years of healthy companionship. Here is another important subject. What types of foods are toxic to dogs? First I want you to know that most of what is toxic to dogs, is also toxic to cats as well. Several foods are toxic to dogs and should be avoided to prevent harm to your canine companion. Some of them could be fatal. Here are some common foods that are toxic to dogs. Chocolate. Chocolate contains theobromine and caffeine, both of which are toxic to dogs. Dark chocolate and unsweetened baking chocolate are particularly dangerous, including possibly fatal. Grapes and raisins. Grapes and raisins can cause kidney failure in dogs. Even small amounts can be toxic. Their liver and kidneys cannot process it and it too could be fatal. Onions and garlic, these vegetables, whether raw, cooked, or in powdered form, can damage a dog's red blood cells and lead to anemia. There are some people that will tell you garlic is okay. Some that will tell you it is toxic to dogs. 
Our research tells us that it is not safe and since onions is in the garlic family, neither is onions. You know the old saying. When in doubt, leave it out. It is not worth the risk. Xylitol. Xylitol is a sugar substitute used in sugar-free gum, candy, and some baked goods. It can cause a rapid release of insulin in dogs, leading to hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, seizures, and liver failure. Be careful buying peanut butter that you give to your dogs, some of it actually contains xylitol or other artificial sweeteners that could be fatal to your pet. Be sure to read the ingredients. Be sure to keep any gum or candy up in a way where dogs cannot get a hold of it. Alcohol. Alcohol consumption can lead to alcohol poisoning in dogs. Even small amounts of alcohol can cause symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, coordination problems, and in severe cases, it can be fatal. So please don't be a knucklehead and give your pets alcohol. It is not funny nor cool and could be fatal. Avocado. Avocado contains a substance called persin, which can be toxic to dogs, especially in large quantities. Bones. Cooked bones can splinter and cause choking, intestinal blockages, or damage to the digestive tract. Ham bones can get lodged in the dog's mouth and jaws. It's safer to provide dogs with specially designed dog bones and treats. Rawhides. These can cause choking, intestinal blockages, or damage to the digestive tract. Macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts can cause weakness, tremors, and other symptoms in dogs. Almonds. While not as toxic as some other nuts, almonds can cause digestive upset and pancreatitis in dogs due to their high fat content. Caffeine. In addition to chocolate, caffeine is found in coffee, tea, and some energy drinks. It can cause rapid heart rate, restlessness, and tremors in dogs. Moldy foods. Moldy foods can contain mycotoxins, which are harmful to dogs and can cause a range of symptoms. Fatty foods. High-fat foods like fried items and fatty cuts of meat can lead to pancreatitis in dogs. Bread dough. Raw bread dough containing yeast can expand in a dog's stomach, leading to bloat or twisting of the stomach, which is a life-threatening condition. Artificial sweeteners. This deserves mentioning again. Apart from xylitol, some artificial sweeteners, such as saccharin and aspartame, can be toxic to dogs. Dairy products. Many dogs are lactose intolerant, so consuming dairy products can lead to digestive upset. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes can be a bit of a gray area when it comes to dogs. Ripe, red tomatoes are generally considered safe for dogs in small amounts, and many commercial dog foods and treats contain tomato-based ingredients. However, the green parts of tomatoes, such as the leaves, stems, and unripe fruit, contain a substance called solanine, which can be toxic to dogs if consumed in large quantities. Solanine can cause gastrointestinal upset, including vomiting and diarrhea, as well as more severe symptoms in some cases. While a small amount of ripe tomato is unlikely to harm your dog, it's essential to exercise caution. If your dog consumes large quantities of unripe tomatoes, tomato plant leaves, or stems, it's best to contact your veterinarian for guidance. Additionally, some dogs may have individual sensitivities or allergies to tomatoes, especially the exotic varieties of tomatoes. In general, if your dog consumes a tomato, it's a good idea to monitor your dog's reaction the first time they eat tomatoes and introduce them gradually into their diet. Always consult your veterinarian if you have concerns about specific foods and your dog's health. You have to ask yourself, is feeding tomatoes to your dog worth the risk? Now, the toxic foods mentioned in this video obviously is not a complete list. It's crucial to keep these foods out of your dog's reach and to be cautious about sharing human food with them. If you suspect your dog has ingested a toxic substance, contact your veterinarian or an emergency pet clinic immediately for guidance and treatment. What foods can you give your dogs? Here's a list of current dog-friendly foods that are generally considered safe and healthy for dogs when given in moderation. Remember to introduce new foods gradually into your dog's diet and watch for any signs of allergies or sensitivities. Always consult with your veterinarian before making significant changes to your dog's diet, especially if they have specific dietary needs or health concerns. Additionally, portion control is essential to maintain your dog's ideal weight and overall health. Keeping our furry friends safe and sound. We all love creating a cozy atmosphere at home, but did you know that some common items can pose hidden dangers to our dogs? Let's start with candles. 
While they can set a serene mood, the scented candles we adore may contain essential oils or fragrances that, when burned, release fumes that could irritate your dog's sensitive nose and even cause respiratory issues. Here's a pro tip, if you love candles, opt for unscented or pet-friendly varieties. And always keep them out of your dog's and cat's reach, especially if you have a curious pet. Next up, air fresheners. Those lovely sprays and plug-ins can fill your home with delightful scents, but some contain chemicals that can be harmful to your four-legged family members. Consider using natural alternatives like baking soda or pet-safe air fresheners. They'll keep your home smelling fresh without any risks to your dog's health. Now, let's step into the kitchen. It's a place where we create delicious meals, but it can also harbor hazards. A dog begging near the kitchen. Dogs are known for their love of food, and while most human foods are safe in moderation, some ingredients like onions, garlic, and artificial sweeteners, like xylitol, can be toxic to them. Not to mention a hot stove burner or pan on the stove could become a burn hazard to your curious pets. Moving on to the garage, where many of us store household and garden chemicals. A dog curious about chemicals. Make sure to keep chemicals like antifreeze, pesticides, and fertilizers securely stored and out of your dog's reach. Even a small amount of some substances can be life-threatening. Although all of them are bad, antifreeze is especially brutal. If you have a vehicle leaking antifreeze, be sure to clean it up well. Leave no residue. Be sure to use pesticides that are pet safe to use in and around your home. It has been our experience that if a dog can get into it, they will and that could be fatal in return for your pet. Finally, let's not forget about houseplants. A dog chewing on a houseplant. While greenery can brighten up your space, some plants are toxic to both dogs and cats when ingested. Be aware of the plants in your home, and if you're not sure about their safety, consult your vet or consider pet-friendly alternatives. A happy dog. Remember, our dogs rely on us to create a safe and loving environment. By being aware of potential hazards and taking steps to minimize risks, we can ensure their well-being and enjoy a happy, healthy life together. Dogs and their humans. Finally, last but not least, let's explore the incredible bond between dogs and their humans. Dog-human bonds. Research shows that the bond between dogs and humans is so strong that it can have numerous positive effects on our well-being. Here are some of the ways that the bond between dogs and humans can have positive effects on our well-being. Reduce stress. Dogs can help to reduce stress in a number of ways. They can provide companionship and unconditional love, which can help to lower levels of cortisol, a stress hormone. They can also help to distract us from our worries and provide us with a sense of purpose. Increase happiness. Dogs can also help to increase happiness. They can make us laugh and smile, and they can provide us with a sense of joy and excitement. They can also help us to connect with other people and make new friends. Improve physical health. Dogs can also help to improve our physical health. They can encourage us to get more exercise, which can help to reduce our risk of obesity, heart disease, and other chronic health conditions. They can also help to lower our blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Reduce loneliness. Dogs can help to reduce loneliness and isolation. They can provide us with companionship and someone to talk to, which can be especially important for people who live alone or who have few friends. Improve mental health. Dogs can also help to improve mental health. They can provide support and comfort to people who are struggling with anxiety, depression, or other mental health conditions. They can also help to reduce symptoms of these conditions, such as stress, isolation, and loneliness. And after hearing the story of Abby, they literally could save your life. There is no doubt that dogs are truly our best friends. They are loyal and dedicated companions who can provide us with love, support, and companionship. They can improve our physical and mental health, and they can help us to live longer, happier lives. And there is science to back it up. Here are some additional research studies that support the positive effects of the human-dog bond. A study published in the journal Pets and Therapy found that people who owned dogs had lower levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, than people who did not own dogs. A study published in the journal PLOS1 found that people who walked their dogs for at least 30 minutes a day had a lower risk of developing heart disease than people who did not walk their dogs. A study published in the journal The Gerontologist found that people who owned dogs had a lower risk of developing dementia than people who did not own dogs. 
These are just a few of the many studies that have shown the positive effects of the human-dog bond. If you are thinking about getting a dog, I encourage you to do so. Dogs can make our lives better in so many ways. If you are thinking about getting a dog, it is important to do your research to find the right breed for you and your lifestyle. The AKC has a wealth of information on its website about different dog breeds, including their temperament, energy level, and grooming needs. It is also a good idea to visit a local animal shelter or rescue organization to meet some dogs and see which one you connect with best. We recommend you visit your local shelter and adopt a dog in need. Adopt and save a life. And that's a wrap on our far out facts about your dog adventure. Remember, every dog is unique, and they bring endless joy and wonder into our lives. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing dog content, and give your furry friend an extra treat today. Until next time, keep those tails wagging. One more thing, don't forget to share your favorite dog facts in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to see in our next video. We hope to see you next time on Facts Intrigue.